Earlier this week, anarchy and rioters overtook the streets of Baltimore, burning cars, looting businesses to protest Freddie Gray's death. Today, thousands gathered in downtown Baltimore for a victory rally. With me now is the leader of the YMC Community Coalition, Jay Morrison, who is in Baltimore this week protesting. All right, good evening. Jay, uh, good evening, I, I want to start with a little history. No problem. You grew up poor? Yes, well for a kid. Uh, you started uh, dealing drugs and you served prison time. Uh, yes. A couple of years in prison. Yes, high school dropout. Uh, after I turned 18, ended up locked up here in New York on Rikers Island for uh, drug trafficking and a handgun charge. How'd you get out of it? Well, the cops illegally searched my vehicle. So I was able to plead guilty to a lesser charge. At 18 years old, I was facing three years to life in prison okay. for 250 grams of cocaine. So that's the kind of aggressive laws we have, first of all. As yeah. an 18 year old kid, I don't my want first to talk charge, about the drug laws tonight. Right. I want to talk about you. You're sitting in front of me. You're pretty dapper there. Thank How you. did you get out of a life of crime? Hope, first of all. I believed in myself. And at 25 years old, after three felonies in three different states, I asked myself in Newark, New Jersey, standing on the corner, still selling drugs, I said, Jay, where are you going to be when you're 30? And the only thing I could imagine was dead or in jail. And I didn't want that for myself. I knew I had charisma. I knew I had talent. So I used my superpowers. Instead of using them for, for evil and doing a mastermind drug dealer, I used my superpowers for good. Got into the okay. real estate industry and started killing it. Okay. So why can't everybody else do what you did? Well, first of all, Freddie Gray, he sure can at 25 because he's dead. He hasn't had an opportunity. Right. And when... These kind of aggressive policing happen in our communities, in urban communities, when people look at us just as thugs and don't give us a chance to even repair our life or, or rebuild. But they didn't give you a chance to repair your life and you repaired it. You're at the top of your game. I, I am, true, indeed. But I wouldn't have been had I been put in back in the police van and my spine broken, neck broke. Look, look, look. We're, we're, that is a scenario where the police will probably be held accountable right. if they if they are if they can prove beyond a reasonable doubt. True. That's not what I'm talking about. Look, you got arrested. You served time. What about the kids who are burning buildings, looting, trashing cars? What should happen to them? Those those kids who are dear president called thugs and everyone else calls thugs. Those kids they weren't rioting. Those kids were revolting. That was a revolution. If those kids had not rioted, as we call it, all these news cameras wouldn't be in Baltimore. All this attention wouldn't be on Baltimore. All this attention wouldn't be on the government Wait system a minute. that so oppresses black people. So what you're saying people. is that they made a conscious decision that our strategy is going to be we're going to burn no. the hell out of the city nope. to get the cameras here? They did not make a conscious decision. Their energy, their reaction, right, their natural reaction was an uprising. And if you look up the definition of a, of a revolt, it's actually an uprising against authority. They didn't riot because they wanted bottles out of CVS or they wanted chips. They, yeah. they, 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 they rioted, as you call it. They revolted because they were feeling oppressed people okay. will always revolt. Did you revolt? Did you burn buildings? Did you trash police cards? No, no I did not. You sold drugs. Right, correct. That was my revolution. Yeah, okay. Right. That's I went revolution. against the system. Uh, okay, that's I went against the system and went and sold drugs because I thought I had no other opportunity here in America until I woke up. Uh, yeah, you woke up, but nobody slapped it into you. You figured it out. Why correct. can't they figure it out? And we're helping them do that here at YMC. So when what, our, YMC is your program is called Young Minds Can. Young Minds Can. Okay, well, I want to talk about org. Baltimore. What's all up? right, you can keep helping them. I got arrested oh. in Baltimore also. Oh, you got arrested. Guess what? I got arrested in Baltimore also. I when? got arrested in this week. No, no, no. Oh. This was in I was 21. I don't care about that. We don't, have much, time. Okay. We don't have much What's time. Okay. I want to know what you think should happen to those kids who damaged property, committed trespass, arson, and stole. Listen, what should happen? There's sacrifices in a revolution. If those kids have to get fined. What's so crazy is that the kid who broke the police window yeah. has a $500,000 bail. The police officer who's arrested for murder has a lower bail than a kid who smashed the window. All right, Jay, you're coming back another Think night. Think about it. I know. All right, Jay, thanks. And with me now is...